You see, my background is in baking. I'm a baker. So what did I know about being chairman? What did I know about serving the community? Well, that's where Larry came in. Larry took me under his wings and immediately started introducing me to this community. See, while I graduated from Florida to the Where am I today? Ah, Mark Scott, you're reporting from Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. <laughs> In my hometown, it's a lot of um, it's, a, it's a political event, right? But it's for it's what politicians do. They're naming a street for a guy who died, <laughs> right? And all the politicians are there. In every community, we all have all across America, we have a congressman. In New York City, we have councilmen. We have senators, state senators. Right, each state gets two, two senators. What does it all mean? What does it all mean? I just went over there. I was like, guys, that you know, some of the some of the people that I can't stand in local politics are there. I'm not even going to name them, but they're all there. I don't care. I don't. Not that I can't stand them personally. It's that I can't stand their positions and their 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 fake, you know, their fake personas and all that stuff. It's going along with the party line, towing that line, right? So I want to—I guess I want to talk about um, Marcus Conti reporting on gaslighting in America. I don't really know what I want to say about it, but it's going to be the, that. It, it seems like um, the more I—the more I dive into um, contemporary news, you know what's happening now. Uh, I realized that uh, that the country is still deeply gaslit on both sides. And what is gaslighting? Gaslighting is when a lie is repeated over and over again, over and over again, and until it sticks. Right? For example, the Russians hacked the election. Right? Just keep saying it over and over again until some people believe you. And then a year or two pass, passes, and it's like, oh yeah, the Russians hacked the election. But when you know, but when you know the evidence, when you know the facts, right? So that's what that's what that's what gaslighting gaslighting works on the notion of emotion, right? The facts don't matter anymore. The courts, even the courts, are emotionized, emotionalized, right? right? See, I, I wanted to go over to that that you know, that spot over there and talk to politicians. They're all surrounded by their bodyguards and they're posturing and, you know, just ask them a simple question like, did the, you know, did the Russians hack the election? <laughs> or was that Hillary Clinton? Uh, and you'll get the, you'll get the, the, um, the canned pitch or you'll say, did Trump collude with the Russians? <laughs> or did, <laughs> you ask him something like that and they'll say, oh, of course. Of course. Did he obstruct justice? Yeah, of course. He's terrible. Because right, you're in a democratic zone. There's no, there's no mind of their own. Right? Uh, so, so instead of, you know, like, I just saw a statistic this morning, right? And it hasn't changed. Charles Schwab, right? The financial Charles Schwab puts out a statistic that said, based on a thousand people surveyed, 59% of people, on average, live paycheck to paycheck. Now, I've, I've seen statistics higher than that. I've seen it as high as 80%. Depends on who you ask. I was also looking at, um, you know, the tragedy and as it warms up, the tragedy of homelessness in America, where income and wealth disparity, income and wealth, the difference... And how much money you make is, is, you know, is widening so great, like in um, San Francisco. But there's, there's this just tremendous, you know, homelessness. Like we don't have homelessness in New York visible as much. And it's not because there's no homeless. It's because New York City doesn't tolerate it. You, you, you sleep in the park, they'll come and they'll drag you out by your feet. Now, there's no tolerance for it. Go to the shelter and, and sleep on a chair. That's what they tell you. And I know that firsthand because I worked for the city. Uh, 
but there's this this there's 400,000 people in America homeless right 60 between 60 and 80 percent depending on who you ask is living paycheck to paycheck of those people most of them or all of them don't have four hundred dollars to their name health care in this country is a mess right you either have it and pay a lot for it or you have it and hold on to a job that gives it to you you hold on for dear life or you're so piss poor that it's just given to you anyway right quality of life is what I'm trying to say quality of the quality of life in America is not is not that good uh, people are overworked underpaid they work in fear of losing their job they, they can't they can't pursue something that they like because of the real unemployment in this country which is probably which is probably around I'd say 20 percent one in five people one in four one in five in America doesn't have a job right of of age people that are 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 able to work it's probably the statistic right so you know jobs health care there the politicians they're naming a street over there and that's a good thing I don't know who the guy is right? I don't it's none of my business really but you see all those politicians all lining up. Why don't they line up for health care? Why don't they line up for, you know, the homeless problem? And in New York City, there's plenty of homeless people. It's just that they, you know, they're, they're kind of swept under the rug, you know. They're kept, they're kept out, of, out of view. Oh, look, the cherry blossoms are all down. Remember the beautiful cherry blossom tree that I, 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 was, I did some videos of? All the blossoms are gone. But the great gaslighting of our nation right now is, is, the, is Russiagate. And we all fall victim to it. Right? Why? Because it distracts us from the things that I just told you about. The, the, the high pressure and, and low quality of life in America now. Where people are overworked and underpaid. Living in fear. Division separate people you're either for us or against us right in every every respect right? we have a country that is clearly warlike although Trump hasn't started any wars he's finished a few he's prolonged the he's continued almost all of them for example in Yemen he had the chance to stop it and he vetoed Congress's decision to stop it he threatened war in Venezuela all options on the table. They're threatening war in Iran. This is not what this president ran on, right? Why not take all that energy and put it into to getting real health care for, for the American people? Wouldn't that be nice? Instead, we keep the wars going. Why? Is it is it because we like war? No, because... It's the military industrial complex. The stock market is dependent on it. If there's no war, there's no money machine. There's no Boeing making millions and Lockheed Martin. We're gaslighted. Russia Gate keeps us gaslighted. Comey, McCabe, William Barr is going to cl is closing in. Right? Robert Mueller for two years, he's going to get the bad guys. Now the bad guys are going to get the other bad guys. We'll go on for another two years. And nothing will change. The quality of life in America will not change. And those politicians down there, those elected politicians that are sitting down there, naming a, naming a street, will have, well, don't even know, they don't even, they're not even able to, they don't even have their feelers on the ground anymore because they too are. I've, I know the track record. I know the voting record of all those politicians. And they're just partisan hacks. That's all they are. And that's why they're there. To vote along the party line. To keep the money machine going. No change. 2016, the Democratic Party was 
was was hijacked by the Clintons, right? And all her supporters, all the Clinton supporters, all the countries that gave money to the DNC, all the money that, all the the the, the you know foreign entities and multinational corporations that poured money into the Clinton Foundation caused the election to be rigged in her favor in every respect right down to rigging the machines we have verifiable verifiable proof red-handed proof of the machine being rigged not exactly but we have statistical evidence in the form of exit polls not matching the actual vote and of course the 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 obvious of shutting down polling stations you know when it when it doesn't favor the favorite and we're seeing it all over again right there's a simple solution to it and it, of course it's always been paper ballots but we'll never we'll never get to that well somebody asked me about uh contrails or chem chemtrails new york is good for that you see them all the time right? what is a chemtrail or a contrail just briefly it's I don't believe that that's what that is it's a condensation trail right that's what it is contrail or condensation trail if you really look at it it's just that's just planes entering and leaving uh, certain temperature zones that's all it is is there is there some instances where climate is controlled by dropping chemicals yes there is but <laughs> the majority of it is 99.9% .9 of it that's not what that is it's the, it's the create the plane plane exudes liquid water and when the water hits the air it creates a trail or an actual cloud that's all it is it's cloud just like any other cloud but I digress I'll talk about that another time but so gaslighting all right we're all we're all gaslit the lie has been told that our elections are integral that the president is is some half the country believe the president can do no wrong he's in the wars he's he gave the tax breaks to the billionaire you know corporations right the jobs are the same unemployment is the same people are working harder making less uh, homeless problems getting worse right, but those there's, there's that crowd of people that no matter what you say no 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 trump has the plan trump's going to do it right and then the other half says, "No, Trump is a fool. Trump is gonna, Trump, everything Trump touches is, go, is turns to garbage, right? He can do no right. Even when he does something right, it's wrong. <laughs> right? And that's that's gaslighting, right? The Mueller report. We saw the Mueller report. Did anything change in anybody's mind? No. The people that believe Trump colluded with the Russians still believe it. The people that." believe he obstructed justice still believe it and will continue to believe it the people like me for example that know factually that there were no Russians that hacked that election that that was an inside job still believe it right we all still believe we're still we're still grounded in our truth right? but only one but only a few there's only some of it that's actually true right that's what I'm trying to say. But gaslighting is very powerful. We're all gaslighted, and I feel like if people just keep playing into now the the I guess what what's called the right, the right. Yeah, you know, look, I'm no right. I'm no left. I'm in. I mean, I'm independent. I don't. I, I sometimes like what the right says, and sometimes I like what the left says. Socially liberal. So again, I don't care what what goes on in your bedroom or any of that stuff, or what bathroom you piss in. Or what your religion is or what color your skin is I don't care about any of that on the other hand with in terms of you know and fine financially I would I guess I would be more right I don't even know it doesn't it none of it makes sense anymore to me you know but people are very very um, I forgot what I was gonna say about that what is right right is conservative keep things the same left is liberal change everything progressive is progress but the simple fact is 
elections aren't going to change us, right? But maybe, 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 maybe a change of heart. Just maybe a change of heart. Maybe this country could have a change of heart, some kind of event, something that that wakes people up in mass. But does it matter? Am I just a dreamer? Am I? A, a, I don't know. I don't really know anymore. But I, I, I do know that I'm going to keep talking about it because I think it's important. Because I think my my dilemma of not knowing the thing that got me into this is shared widely, or nobody would pay, be paying attention. Now you could, call, and again, you look at the comments. I've been called everything from, you know, every possible name in the book, and so what? That's a good thing. That means that means you're being challenged in some way. Your ideology, your your boat is being rocked a little, enough to stick around and criticize me. But we're all gaslit. We're all gaslit to some degree. We're forced into it. An election is robbed. Election is stolen, and we catch them red-handed, and they turn around and say Russia. And for two two and a half years, we have to ter- keep saying, "Not Russia. Not Russia. Not Russia." And then suddenly the lie becomes the truth, and the truth becomes a conspiracy theory. And that is the essence of Russiagate. That is the the real story of Russiagate, is the great gaslighting of the American people. That's what it is. So, I'm going to go back home now and uh, finish out the rest of this day. I don't know, just some deep thought for now. Whenever I come to this park, whenever I'm around the cherry blossoms, the cherry blossom trees are just as beautiful without the flowers as they are with the flowers. I visit them all year round, even when they're stick figures.